Welcome to Tusome Hadithi, where we celebrate our African heritage through the storybooks that we read. My name is Silayo, and I'm going to be reading Olgu Ololdome Oigiliguanisho, written by Judith Baker and Lorato Trock. Olgu Ololdome Oigiliguanisho is a story of the curious baby elephant. I shall be reading it in the Ma language or Kimasai. Make sure that you listen closely for the sound of the drum beats. The drum beats will sound when I say the special word of the story. Listen all the way to the end to find out if you guessed the special word right. All right then, let's get started. Negiliguanisho <laughs> Soba. <laughs> Nejogyo soi rodi ambara marti orgejo. Eva, ne wali yo lgu ololdome. Egen de maroli yenda oshina nya olgen no steiba. Ifu go you pe yali gi nejogyo soi. Tado, tado. Ne ifu go lgu ololdome alo abori omera bana ne. Ne yero. Eri angu me elala lorgen nos. Egi nyorge nos aita enda e tipa ne shira yor kufuk ne guru mo ugololdo me ne yeta ne yeta kage e twenu yorge nos ne yere ngume ugololdo me ne yeta ne yeta omera bana ene we tu ne barara rengoriyo ne la wende ne tipa ne danyari yorge nos aje ngarwankare. Nengor or go old or me and gumene. Melio and eating. Kea do leng. Nago gave them. I ray you in an ayoy tenjo maroljani. Nay, such care on dangare. Tangarana irugua. Ore omera by getara. Kiara eldomia in gaik adoruna sishuri. Did you hear the drum beat? Did you discover the special word of the story? If you said engomom, you're right. Engomom means face in the Ma language. Did you know that the face makeup is synonymous with beauty for many African people? However, many African communities, including the Maasai, used and still use face painting for many different reasons other than beauty to either signify many different things such as hunting, religious, traditional, or military purposes. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Goodbye.